The chairman of Larson & Tubro is someone who seems driven even 13 years into his job. And this period has seen a transformation in l &T. It has grown from a 5,000 crore rupee market cap company in 1999 to a nearly 90,000 crore rupee company today. It has expanded to whole new verticals and is today not just behind some of the biggest projects in the country, it's also spreading its wings overseas. While the growth of the company must be seen in the backdrop of a larger growth of India, what one can't ignore is a step-by-step -step strategy that the company's top boss put in place years back. The first step was to create a company too big to mess with. See, first and foremost, 99 to 2000, as I mentioned, three or four years were not really very well uh, possible due to varieties of other external uh, pressures. The 2005 onwards, the economy was good. We did building up our capabilities between 99 and, and, and 2005. But we couldn't get results due to the fact that the economy was slow. It was not a rapid growth. I mean, from LNT perspective, it was a moderate growth in terms of uh, what the infrastructure projects were coming out and so on. Yes, much more than before, but still not as much as we were already prepared for. We were prepared a little better than what opportunities were coming our way. It was 2000 to, I mean, up to 2000 to 2005, Project Blue Chip identified the core areas mm -hmm. and we decided to separate our, I mean, classify our portfolios, which were more than 60, 70, uh, as to what is non-core, what is core. Within what is non-core, what is small and no use growing it for sale. That means there, are, there is a portfolio which is, say, grow to sell. Cement was in that. Grow rapidly before you sell, but you have to sell. So if you see in 99, I had said that cement one day will be sold. But we rapidly took the capacity to 12 million, created value, and then, and then sold. sold it. There are many other businesses like glass bottles, which were non-core, not growable. And therefore, we said sell immediately. Don't wait for grow to sell. Third is what is a core and how you will grow that fastest. Second was adjacent to the core. And if they are very small companies, not growable, sell. But what is your core? Uh, core, you must really rapidly grow. Mm. And that was one of the core work which was done in what we call uh, portfolio review analysis, working on strategy of what is the core and how you will do it, what is non-core and how you will grow to sell or sell, and what is adjacent which you will really and accordingly, the new structure was fixed. So it was portfolio review first, then structure, then st portfolio review, then strategy, then to suit the strategy structure, and then from uh, structure to implementation. This is what was done in five. And then 2005, we needed a big change because now the Indian economy had started growing. Lot more was happening in infrastructure. Lots of structural changes were coming in Indian economy where you can do lots of BOT roads or BOT ports and LNT had a very good muscle power in terms of finance to be able to take those opportunities, which of course started way back in 2000 but picked up more as the years went by. Sure. When we did the first road, we were the only bidder. By the time it was 2005, there were 20 bidders and today there are 40. Over the last decade, Larson & Tubro has worked hard in building itself to what it is today. And perhaps it has done so too fast. For example, as the economy has slowed over the last two years, the company has had to go looking for business overseas because of the slowdown in orders here. And this has meant that an increasing portion of its business is now coming from there. So what do infrastructure experts like Vinayak Chatterjee make of l success and challenges ahead? I think the growth has been pretty steady across uh, many decades. Uh, the breadth and depth of LNT's operations uh, is far wider and deeper than competition. I think the challenges before LNT really are that in each segment they also have strong competitors. For example, in civil construction, there are many, there are over like 75 to 100 firms today in India 
which have a capacity and competence to build roads, to build structures, to build buildings. So, each segment of LNT, there is pressure on uh, the order book, they have to win jobs, and most of it is through open competitive bidding. There is pressure on margins. And more importantly, on the equipment side, there is pressure on uh, imports from some of the uh, lower cost structure uh, suppliers like China, Taiwan, South Korea. These are, these are challenges and threats to LNT at across its product line. So these are all issues that uh, affect LNT in spite of its uh, breadth and depth. As L&T has changed, so has the landscape and the company finds itself at an important crossroads today as it grapples with a massive restructuring exercise, a slowing economy and the issue of who will succeed this man, A.M. Nayak, who has been so closely involved with the transformation of L&T from deep within. More on that and what makes this company tick next week.